Hi, my name is Kimberly, and this is my story of how I went to the worst reviewed hair salon in my city. It was my favorite day of the year, my birthday. Turn up time. I turned 17 years old, and my parents and my older brother surprised me with gifts. My brother gave me the new Jordan 12 Retros. My mom gave me a gift card to a hair salon. And my dad gave me a new car, a Mercedes Benz. But he said before I drive my new car, I need to get my hair done first. This was the best birthday ever. I couldn't wait to show off my gift to my friends at school. And this is exactly how I want my hair, so hopefully she can achieve this look. So after, I walk to the hair salon because it is five minutes from my house. But while I am walking, I go on Yelp to read some of the reviews. And someone said, overall, the environment was weird. No one was friendly or approachable. Stylist was all to themselves. I just got simple cut and blow. Sadly, I won't come here ever again or recommend anyone here. This place is small. Someone else says they were going to charge me $250 for balayage and baby light with cheap hair dye product. Customer service was poor, left fast as hell. Another one said, long story short, she messed up my hair completely. She bleached my whole hair after telling her before I didn't want to go up to the roots. There was like 20 bad reviews and like 5 good reviews. So I'm thinking to myself, it can't be that bad, right? So I get there and the lady at the front desk was just on her phone texting and didn't even acknowledge me. So I say, <clears throat> and she still ignores me. So I do it again but louder. <clears throat> and she finally noticed me. And all she say is, name? My name is Kimberly Jones. And she says, what you want? I was really thinking to myself, what have I gotten myself into? But instead, I just say I want to get a balayage. And then she told me to sit down. In 10 minutes, Alicia, the hairstylist, will be right with me. So while I am waiting to get my hair done, I notice Alicia doing the same style I wanted, but on someone else here, and it was horrible. I can tell the girl hated it, but she was just afraid to speak her mind. So I quickly changed my hairstyle to this hairstyle instead. I mean, she can't mess this up, right? Alicia calls me and tells me that I can sit down in her chair. Then she asks me, how do you want your hair, sweetie? I showed her exactly how I wanted my hair and then we start talking a little about our days. I told her today is my birthday and this is a gift for my mother. And then three hours later, she is done. She revealed my hair to me and it was horrible. So when I asked her, is it finished? She said, it is done. I was lost for words. I didn't know what else to say. From this moment, I knew this was going to be the worst birthday of my life. One thing about me is I am very shy and I don't ever speak up for myself because I hate confrontation. So instead, I pay her $200 with my mom's credit card. I started walking home and crying. She ruined my birthday. Like, how do you mess up a bank? Now I know why this is the worst hair salon in my city. But I know as soon as I get home, I have to stop crying because I don't want my mom to see that I am sad. I don't even care to go to school anymore to show off my birthday gifts. Just be careful who you go to in your city to get your hair done. And always listen to reviews on Yelp. It may save your life.